Hey everybody, Pookie TVX, Common Sense. So, salute. Big Meech home, man. Yeah, he got out of there. That man done been in there for so goddamn long, don't make no goddamn sense. You ain't got to worry about Big Meech doing no crimes no more, man. You ain't got to worry about Big Meech out there, goddamn at the clubs and shit. Um, goddamn throwing goddamn thousand dollar bills and shit at goddamn women and shit. You ain't got to worry about it. You don't worry about uh, 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 Big Meech out there pushing bricks again no more, man. You ain't got to worry about that type of shit. Nope. Big Meech trying to goddamn live his goddamn life. Yeah, he's going to be an honorable man. He's going to be an honorable uh, law-abiding and citizen man. He don't got to do it now. He got too many opportunities, man. He done did what he had to do. He held it down. He was a big influence in rap, everything, man. All them niggas was talking about came from Big Meech. I seen him before in a club in Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah, a long time ago. Like, damn, that nigga, was, I mean, changed like a motherfucker, man. Throwing goddamn money every goddamn where Bottles. Giving, giving bottles away, man. Like, who the fuck is that? That's Big Meech. This nigga had goddamn billboard sign. BMF, he had billboard signs in, in, in goddamn Atlanta, man. Ask him. It was around Freaknik time, too. Well, a little bit after Freaknik, probably. But he had billboard signs, man, up a, a, a BMF, man. Boy, he's like, who the fuck is... Who the fuck is a BMF? Yeah, Blue Da Vinci, all of them out there, man. Uh, what's that nigga name? Cavello, the one that got caught. What's his name? I can never remember that nigga goddamn name. Anyway, the nigga that was in the shower with Benzino. <laughs> They got the red roof in, man. You know, that's where you go for you. <laughs> anyway, that's another goddamn topic, man. But yeah, Big Meech is home, man. Um, he not all the way home. He in a halfway house. That's what you got to do. You got to go to the goddamn halfway house. And um, he's going to have to get a job, which he have no problem doing. I'm pretty sure if he's in a hire him doing something or put him down or something, I don't know. Um. He could be with his family again, his son, he, without having to have a prison wall, a prison gate in front of him, which is a blessing, man. Anytime you could get to do that, man, as long as he did and how he held it down without saying anything about nobody. And the, everybody is from somewhere else different. You don't get nothing like this nowhere. Everybody moved like brothers, and then everybody from different places. Milwaukee, St. Louis, Detroit, Texas, Atlanta, Cali. You know what I'm saying? Florida. We got people from everywhere in our mind. Everybody move as one. Everybody is prospering in some kind of way, in their own way. Every man plays his own role. And it's and everything starts with the leader. I'm a good leader, so I got good people that follow. You know what I'm saying? It's simple. If you you can only be like the nigga that's running your crew. If you got a robbing ass boss, then you're gonna be a robbing ass crew. If you got a real boss who know how to sacrifice and take the bad along with the good and show his crew up, know how to be men, then this is what you get. Everybody shining like new money. And ain't no other crew like this in the world and there never will be another one. Not black. It never will be because they said that if niggas like this are shining all together, being together, doing shit every day, then they gonna fall out over some money or somebody gonna rob, steal, and kill. I have yet to see that. All of us get along with money. We had money, we been had money. Money ain't nothing without us being together. It don't do no it don't make no difference if you the the maid or if you the motherfucking bodyguard. Everybody get extras around here, French benefits. Everybody travel from place to place and kick it with each other. And every place is like home. Every place, every place we stay at, L LA, Atlanta, Detroit, we have homes. Our own homes. We don't have to go in and rent shit. We got our own houses. We got our own cars. We got our own hoes. We got our own clothes. You know what I'm saying? And we can't be stopped. I don't see nobody stopped. I don't see none to come after us either. None. I don't, nobody will never do this again because this many niggas and this much money can't get along and stay together. They're going to fall out over girls or something. We don't fall out over no girls. We hit them all. They hit my hoes, I hit they hoes. The ones that don't want to be shared, then that, that's your own personal one. Other than that, then it, we ain't falling out over no hoes. And we got all type of niggas around here. It's short niggas, tall niggas, bald niggas, light skin, dark skin, braids, dreads, fat, whatever you want. Whatever a woman want, we got right here. See what I'm saying? So we get all kinds of women, models, 
nobody, hood rats, everything. We do it all. We don't discriminate. Matter of fact, after you leave here, you end up getting your teeth on something and coming up with something better. You know what I'm saying? Like a new car, a new house. Maybe the kids get to go to school, private school, pay for, courtesy of the mob. You know what I'm saying? We pay. You know, that's simple. A lot of niggas don't like to spend their money. We love to spend our money. We can't take none of this shit with us. None. Ain't no armored trucks pulling up at no funerals. Simple. So you better enjoy this shit. Just a fool and his money will park. We do this, so we ain't worrying about it. We, when we go out at night, whatever we spend, 50,000, 100,000 in the motherfucking club, we can afford to do it because we ain't bring it all with us. <laughs> Simple. Everybody saying something about him. Yeah, everybody saying something about him, man. Everybody. When you in there for that long, man, that nigga was in there for decades. What was he in there for what? Um, 20 some years? He went down like what? 2004? 2,400, something like that. Yeah, he been there for like 24, 24, 25 some years, man. God damn. God damn, man. That nigga, first, that first thing that nigga gonna want. First thing that nigga gonna want. A shower, a hot, normal shower. Without people around. A hot, normal shower, some pussy. Yeah. He wants some pussy bad as shit. He tired of the magazines and the fee-fees. And then waiting for his celly to go to sleep. Yeah, he's tired of that nonsense. He been on the phone the whole time for all these years. Talking pussy talk. Trying to get... <laughs> and then after that, he want a good goddamn home-cooked meal, man. He might even want that first. Yeah, it all depends on his order. He might even want that first. He might. It, 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 it could go in any type of order, man. But his main order is going to be a hot shower, maybe even a goddamn bubble bath. Who know? I right, whatever floats your boat. Pussy and a good hot comb cooked meal, man. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the top thing that you ever want when you got there locked up for that goddamn long. Yeah, that's what you want. And to hug your family and to be around your family, man. And, and, and the holidays is coming. Perfect time for them. To spend it with his family, man, on the outs, man. Salute goddamn Big Meats, man. Um, big influence in the community with everybody. Long chains. That's back when we had the baggy pants, man. Yeah, we had the baggy pants, man. We ain't had this tight ass shit that they wear in these days, no. We had the baggy pants, throwback jerseys, uh, uh, t-shirts like these here. Um... Uh, yeah, uh, um, um, belts with the goddamn sagging pants, man. Uh, <laughs> all that crazy shit, man. Yeah, Chucks, Air Force Ones, goddamn, uh, uh, Nikes, goddamn, uh, uh, Air Maxes. Yeah, all that shit, man. Uh, Cortezes, yeah, man. Bandanas, all that. Not like they got now, man, these skinny ass goddamn painted on jeans, man. So, yeah, salute them big meats, man. He home, man. Enjoy it, brother. Enjoy it. Soak it up. Don't mess it up. Fuck what everybody else talking about. They undid it. Don't try and get no goddamn get back. Let that shit goddamn go. You just serve your time and you out. You ain't trying to go back, my nigga. Your family needs you. And you need them. That's just what it is. What y'all think about that, man? What y'all think about Big Meech being home, man, after all this goddamn time in the goddamn penitentiary, man? What y'all think about it? And, 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 and what y'all would have made it? Please let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't hate. Common sense.